so in this lesson we are going to learn about output to the console and so we will first look at output of how to which function to use and that is we will use printf and it's a function with the following way we have to write so this is the control string which is very similar to the one in scanf and then the arg1 arg2 till arg n so this is the way to write printf so if we write like simply print f this is c programming so this will be the output on the screen after the execution of this line so let's see now and if i want to uh, print a number so i will write print f percentage d is greater than percentage d and then num1 comma num2 so let's say num1 is 5 and this is 2 so it will print 5 is greater than 2 will be the output so similarly the other cases are that we take so percentage d is for int then percentage f for float percentage s for string percentage c for characters and what happens is that let's say now some more formatted output so we will consider that okay int number is equal to 9875 and now let's see the output of various different functions of printf so if we have printf percentage d comma 9875 so this will simply print 98 Seven, five. but if we have something like printf percentage 6d9875 so it will create a space which is equal to 6 blocks and then it will start from 98 Seven five will be written. So this is kind of right alignment, right aligned. Now, if we write something like print printf percentage two d and then nine eight seven five. So what will happen is. it will again print 9875 so this implies that if we give percentage some number which is lesser than the number of digits so it will be overridden and all the digits have to be printed so it will allow for four cells instead of the two so this two or the number represents the minimum number of cells that has been specified so if we want the left alignment so we have to write printf percentage and then minus 60 and 9875 so it will make a box so equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 so 9875 will be now so this is left aligned so now let's see the last one is if I have printf 
परसेंटेज जीरो सिक्स डी एंड नाइन एट सेवन फाइव सो नाउ इट इज अगेन बिकॉज इट इज अ पॉजिटिव नंबर इट विल बी राइट अलाइन सो नाइन एट सेवन फाइव विल कम हियर बट बिकॉज वी हैव अ जीरो सो ऑल द लेफ्ट पार्ट विल बी फिल्ड बाई जीरो so this was about the left justified and right justified and other ways of printing so now we will see a few more so we will see writing decimal numbers or fractions real numbers so how to write so let's say now our number is something little different and we have the number y is equal to 98.7654 so let's see how it's written so if i do print f percentage 7.4 f and y so what it means now is that the decimal part has four spaces four digits for it and total this number has seven cells allocated so it means seven cells will be allocated so 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven cells are allocated and the rightmost four will be given to the part of the number after the fraction after the dot decimal so 7 6 Five four will be written here, and then a dot will be placed here, and now two spaces are left. So I have nine and eight. So this is the example. So we have percentage W dot P, and then E. So which means this is the fractional part or the decimal part. This is the whole part. Let's now see other example. Let's say we have print f percentage 7.2f and y so this means total is again seven cells are allocated for printing and it says but for the decimal part we have just two so we will have seven and the next one will become seven because it's uh, kind of we are rounding off so it will be 7 7 a dot will appear and we will have 9 and 8 and these two places will be left alone let's say again so another example is print f percentage minus 7 dot 2 f and y so this now means it is again the total number of spaces there is is 7 and it is left justified so we will start from here so 9 and 8 will come here and then two digits are for the decimal part so 7 7 will come here and these two parts will be left so let's now look at other example so if we do a simple print f percentage f comma y so it will print the whole thing 987654 and so this was basically about the print f so now we will look at some of the examples like if i want to print a string so we will use the percentage s and if we want mixed data and percentage c for char and mixed data output so let's see i want to print int and then a float then a string and afterwards a char so i will print like this print f percentage d percentage f percentage s percentage c 
and then a b c and d where a is in b is float c is string or character array and d is a char so this was about our printing and this ends the lecture so we will just summarize so we learned about printf how to use printf what are the percentage comma control string we saw some examples of print with format specifiers we saw that for float and this ends our lecture thank you